guys welcome back to my channel this is Pashpika the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person as an artist well today is a really a requested video I'm gonna show you how to do the research on the Zazzle uh, I'm gonna show you my way to do it obviously there are so many ways in which you can do a research on the Zazzle to find the right kind of niches product or design idea I'm gonna be using my phone to do the research on the Zazzle because most of the users nowadays are mobile users and they are coming across the Zazzle to purchase a product are mobile users. So they are doing the research on the Zazzle using the mobile. So we're going to be also using our own mobile to do the research. Of course, you can do on the screen, bigger screen like the laptop or the desktop as well. But we're going to do it on the mobile to see and find the right kind of niches and to do more research about the design and all that stuff. This is the my way to do it. Obviously, there could be a lot of a different ways. So without further ado, let's dive in before go back and start clicking the like button, guys. I do really appreciate that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing. I have a lot of free resources to help you make more money. The links are in the description box below. You could very well uh, grab the Zazzle Beginner's Kit if you're looking forward for step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get started with the Zazzle. It has a complete video tutorials and PDF guides. To follow you along through getting started with the Zazzle, the link of this beginner kit is in the description box below. You can also very well grab the Zazzle workbook. If you want a PDF a workbook to keep track of your Zazzle shop, it contains everything based on my experience and knowledge that helped me to become a pro seller on the Zazzle. Currently, I'm on the pro bronze. We're going to move towards the silver soon. So it's helped me a lot. If you're interested in these two type of digital product, the links are in the description box below. You can very well check it out. Anyway, guys, let's dive into using our phone. Uh, you could do the same research on the desktop as well, on the laptop as well. But I find that since the mobile users are increasing every single year and the more people are going to the mobile rather than using a desktop to buy a product, so it's best to actually use our mobile to do the research. So share my screen over here. Now currently we are on the Zazzle.com. You could very well see right now the homepage of the Zazzle look like something like this. You're going to see the find the things you will love, the weddings, the home decor, the clothing, the gifts, the party supplies, the sports and games. So these are the six different categories. Obviously there are a lot of the different categories, but this kind of the homepage actually they keep on updating with the occasions, with the events, with the months. So this is right now in the January. Obviously, if you come across this Zazzle shop, you're going to see some different kind of the homepage. But that's normal and that's okay. You could find the trending niches and design by these particular options. We're going to be going into that. But further, I'm going to be just going down and we're going to explain a little bit about you could do the research. Now, right now it's the January. So that's why the new, are, new year ideas are there. You could very well click on that. You can take a look at the new year ideas. Now we have the wedding stationaries. If you're actually targeting the wedding niche, then this is something you could really hop on. Now we have the electronics. I think that's a great niche and I have seen the people having an entire shop on the electronics, like completely having a laptop accessories and the electronic accessories, a complete shop dedicating to that. Now we have the save the dates, the calendars, the planos, the yoga mats. Yoga mats is a high price point. Uh, product like it is above $50 so if you are actually targeting a high price point to make more profit for product sale then this is something product you could very well hop on then we have the for the depending on the different moment, uh, moments that we have in our life the, they have categorized according to it so this is the engagement uh, lunar new year bridal shower baby shower birthdays and new home then this is something the new on Zazzle you could see what are the new products so they have the recently the new products launches which I keep on telling you guys to keep yourself updated with the Zazzle because they keep on updated you with the new products so that would be a great handy so this, these are the new products scroll down these are the featured creators you can take a look at the creators you can take an idea and design from these particular creators then you're gonna see the officially licensed stores these are the stores for which you can't look for the inspiration because you can't copy them. They have the trademark issues. Uh, they have their own trademark. So don't copy the Star Wars or Disney's or Peanuts or Marvel or something like that. Now we have the ideas and inspiration. You can go, uh, scroll down more. Then you could see, see what other designers are being created. And you can very well visit the community, uh, the forums, the creators. So this is the kind of the homepage look like, right? Now I'm going to be actually going over to the top section of the home page for finding the niches. Now there are so many ways in which you can do the research on the Sassel and I find the home page quite juicy to do the research. You don't have to go anywhere to do the research. 
So we're gonna take a look at the home decor because I think that the wedding is very, very popular and you don't need to be in the wedding niche to actually make more money on Azazel. No, not at all. If you're not, some, I don't, I don't sell most of my product as a wedding invitation. No, I do have a wedding invitation, but I rarely sold. So it's not needed if you are not interested. So we're gonna go over to the home decor. I'm gonna click over to the home decor. So in the home decor, you could see the price points of the products from uh, like $20 to $100. That means you can make more profit for every product sold. If you're going with the stationaries, like the cards and invitations, stickers or uh, smaller products like the posters, like they're not going to make you that much of money for every product sold. But they're going to make this home decor section is going to make you more money. Now, this is specifically for those, specifically for those of people who have been asking me a lot of the question, how to know which of the products they need to place their design on. So if your design is related to the home decoration, anything about the new home or home decoration, then these are the products you could very well include in your home decor in your collection, like the pillows, the blankets, the frames and displays, the art and wall decor, the kitchen and dining, home accents, doormats and rugs storage and organization, lighting and critical, sorry, lighting and electrical, mugs and drinkware, then you could show up by the room as well. So if you are confused, what are the products you need to add into your collection related to home decor? This is a, something you can take a look at that. So if you're confused about your own niche and you are not knowing what products to place your design, take a look at the Zazzle itself and see which products you can place your design on. So we're going to take a look at the blankets because right now it's the winter and blanket is a trending product. For some of those of you guys who are confused about the trending products, trending products are products that are going to be trending uh, for a couple of weeks or a couple of months in a certain season. Okay, right now it's the winter, you're going to see the socks trending, the winter wear is trending, then the blankets, the hoodies and all that stuff is trending. At the Christmas, you're going to see the Christmas ornaments, Christmas stockings or Christmas tree like uh, that is the kind of like what they call it Christmas tree skirt will gonna be popular these were just a few examples obviously depending on the season and occasion it will gonna be a different products so right now you could take a look at the blankets and the throws and you could get an idea what kind of the stuff are popular and if you are confused about the niches then these are the niches guys you could see the photo is a niche so if you're actually making a photo product then this is a niche you could very well hop on if you could see this is the photo niches but that's the first design idea or niche idea. The another one is the monogram and names. These are also very popular. You could have a simple initial letter or you could have a name. Then you have the niche as a best friends, like best friend for forever, BFF, or you could have the name of your best friend or you could do a lot of the stuff. Then the camping. Now camping is something that would be popular in the winter as well or in the summer camping as well. Winter camping, summer camping. Again, it depends from place to place so obviously it's gonna vary then we have the pets the most common niche the animal niche the pets now we have the babies that's also the amazing niche then we have the sports the wedding and the couple so these are the some design ideas or niche ideas related to the blankets if you're looking and confused about it now i'm gonna be scrolling down i'm gonna be actually finding the niche from this particular section of the blanket now this thing you could very well apply to the various different variety of the products. It's not just uh, focusing on this one product only. You could apply it to different products. Now, you could see a baby products, a lot of the baby designs, the pet designs. Then you could see the love designs with the pet and the person, then the wedding, then the best friends. Then you see a name design. So what you could do over here, you could blend and mix the different niches together. Like you could see the baby niches, the pet niche, the name niche, the wedding couple love niche. So you could mix them together. Like you could have a baby with a pet. Why not? Like small babies uh, are like sleeping with a pet. That could be a photo niche. Plus you could have a baby with a pet and also you could have a name over there. The name of the pet and the name of the baby. Something like this. You could be more creative guys. Come on. You have to be your more creative you can't be copying other people you need to think outside of the box if you're thinking in the inside of the box in that particular area okay this is these are the particular seven colors we have no open up your eyes enlighten yourself and think outside the box mixing the different niches together coming up with the new color themes like here you are not seeing the sparkle leash so you could mix the sparkle leash with the baby niche with the pet niche or with the wedding or couple niche. Like I'm not seeing a sparkle niche over here. So I could mix this sparkle background with this. 
that could be your one design idea one niche idea one product idea okay you are getting my point right the same thing you would apply to the multiple different stuff of the different products scroll down you're going to see a lot of the different options over here if you don't want to go into the photo niche to the photo niches you are someone like i don't want to go into the photo niches i totally get it then i have a niche for you over here you could see the name niches like you could see the uh, katrina it's over written over here it's a name niche another one is a baby is sitting now this one is someone has actually used their own mock up and that's why you could see a baby uh, sorry a kid sitting on the blanket but you could see this one is the abstract niche okay here the name is there and the abstract is there so you can see they have mixed the two stuff together the abstract bold shapes with the name niche so this is a something you can come up with that you can actually mix the watercolor with the name niche or you could have a different uh, backgrounds like if you are targeting a christmas niche or some occasion niche you could have a design of that occasion and then you could have a simple name of that okay this is just one of the example guys you could apply to a lot of the different ways and this is the way i do the research this one just the one product i took that was the blanket and blanket is a really high price point product okay you're going to make more profit because it's above $20 somewhere it's your $30 66 depending on the size of the blanket and depending on the type of the blanket another niche you could hop on is a sports niche guys you going to love the sports if you love the sports football basketball volleyball golf sky is the limit in comes of the sports niche you could target the sports niche like this one you could see is a pickleball personalized a monogram niche they have combined the monogram with the sports niche together so the two niches have been combined together you can come up with something different you could have a photo with the sports and with the name so that is the another niche idea that's another product idea scroll down the animal niche is very popular you could see the uh, blanket with the dinosaur the dinosaur is there the different dinosaur graphic is there and then the name is there you could mix it with some other animal or a picture of the animal or a graphic of the animal you could have a floral design here you could see a flower with the name so that's another niche so this one is the one product let's go over to the another product and take a little bit more in depth i hope you are getting my point right now we're going to go over to the party supplies because this is also the one of the popular niches on the zazzle they're going to be evergreen niches obviously if you're going to the christmas party halloween party birthday party wedding party it going to be a different but again going to be popular all throughout the year because we do have parties all throughout the year like sometimes we have wedding parties or christmas party anniversary party valentine party new year party but we do have the parties and this is also the very popular so if you're confused if you're targeting with the party niche and i'm confused which product to go for then these are the products you could go with the confettis the decorations the party favors the party tablewares stationeries wedding decors banners and backdrops paper cups paper hats paper plates bunting flags now these are the different kinds of the product of the categories that are popular in the party supplies so if you don't know you have a party design then very well go with these particular products and have them in your collection now we're going to take a look at some of the products over here scroll down you're going to see a lot of the different product ideas related to this particular party you could see you are having a party hat the napkins the uh displays then you have the gift tags the balloons so these are the some of the products that you could very well hop on for the party supplies above you're going to have the different kinds of the banners so you could see the different banners over there so that's also a cool idea now for the party if you are confused about the design let's cover about the design designs like the tailor is two this one is the happy birthday kind of like a banner now if you are targeting the birthday niches for the kids specifically in the party supplies then you could have a simple minimal design or you could have a zigzag colorful multicolored rainbow color because people love kids love the multicolor they like the colorful design or if you're targeting a baby girl or a baby boy then you could have a blue or green theme or you could have an animal theme or a pet theme something around the corner you could have a different cartoons make sure if you're using a cartoon you are not using a trademark one like a disney princess or mickey mouse or something like that don't use them because those are the trademark you use a cartoons that are not included in the trademark stuff okay another stuff you could have experiment around with the uh with the floral niches like you could see one of them is over here the sign is there the book and the gifts they are having that kind of stuff is there with the floral niche now this is for i think for the wedding niche but if you are targeting for the babies you could have a cute flowers 
and then you could have in the name or you could have a different inspiration now another thing the people often get confused after the niches and design ideas they are talking about the templates yes i totally get it there are the cool hot templates on the zazzle i do love them but first time if you're actually making your shop and you are adding the product you have to create these template by yourself you can't use some other shop template as a guide for you no it would be a copyright and there is no other option available right now on the zazzle if you are a seller that you can use other sellers templates no it's not at all possible it's gonna be against copyright so if you are making the signs you could take a look at that like this one is the babies are sweet please take a treat so this is the one focusing on the baby shower or kind of like a baby niche so if you're making a baby niche signs or something like that, you get an inspiration idea from that and then you can create the templates. You have to create the template just one and then actually transfer that template design on the different products or on the similar product of different colors or designs using the option the transfer design okay you have to create the templates guys and sky is the limit when it comes to creating a template because you have to be creative you can use the beautiful codes the different kinds of the fonts or the different kinds of the pictures the graphics another question i get a lot from you guys is about the fonts which fonts to use now you could very well see the people who the other designers the fonts they are using in their designs now, i'm not telling you to copy them but you can take an idea inspiration from them. Usually the, usually the fonts are categorized according to the target audience. For the female, they're going to see a more handwritten or descriptive or decorative kind of the fonts. And if you're targeting for a vintage, you're going to see a serif fonts. Then if you're targeting for some big businesses or companies, you're going to see a sans serif kind of fonts. Like this one is thing you have to do the research. And you can take an inspiration idea from what other people are using. You could see the mix of the different varieties, the handwritten with the sans serif kind of like the fonts. Somewhere you're going to see a serif fonts as well. So you have to actually see and come up with your own stuff and you can be more creative. You can take an inspiration. These are the, a lot of the different varieties of the products that I'm actually seeing right now in the party supplies. Now this one is a glitter niche with the confetti. If you're actually targeting the confetti, you're going to have the six layers. But you could see how this one actually someone have actually used this particular niche and they have created a confetti. They have used the glitter niche with the name niche with the different graphic niches. And this is so beautiful. Like you could also come up with something like that. And you don't have to copy them. You don't have to make so much complicated. You could just combine the glitter with the watercolor or simple glitter with a name or name with the flower or name with the animal. But you can take an inspiration idea in this way and do your research. We're going to move towards a different niche right now because the people who are targeting them. So we're going to go into scroll down and I'm going to go over to the electronics because this is also one of the popular niches out there. So here we are with the electronics. Uh, I have seen the entire shops dedicating to electronics because these are high price point pro products and they do sell well. So if you're targeting the phone cases, computer, laptop, you could very well select which product you want to go. And if you're confused about the electronics, you're getting an entire list of the product on which you can place your design. If you have a design, something related to electronics, you are getting the product ideas from which you are actually going to place your design on. Okay, guys, you do just have to be open and creative and see which designs they're actually using on which product. Like if you're having an electronic design, then these are the products on which you can place your design and you can create an entire collection around it. So let me just scroll down a bit. You're going to see the name niches are very popular with the monogram. The name and no monogram will going to be really popular. You could actually combine the photo niche as well. They look cute, isn't it? If you're purchasing a, a like a photo case, uh, sorry, a phone case for your own phone, what are the designs you're going to be using? Think about that. Being yourself as a customer. I used to think that a lot many times. If I'm actually... Uh, buying a phone case, what type of the phone case I'm going to be purchasing, what kind of a design it's going to look like, okay? You can keep yourself as an ideal client of Tar and you can target them because they're going to be the people that are going to be thinking like you or who are going to have a similar choice like you. So you can make yourself as an ideal client and you can develop or make the designs according to it. So now you could see the different kinds of the ideas over here, the name niches, the monogram niches with a simple color, with the logo niches, with the bold design, the abstract bold designs are also very, very popular. You could see over here with the floral niches, a lot of the stuff is photo kind of the uh, mobile phones, the laptop screens, you could see they're looking so amazing. You could have a wedding, a couple on the phone case like this one, the B Michael. You could have the pet as well, the pet pictures. 
You could have the cute graphic as well, like this one is the penguins. You could have a simple abstract design as well. Now, I'm gonna move over to the last part of the video because this video is already going way more long. And I know that when you're actually doing the design research or niche research or product research, it's gonna take your time. So give yourself that enough time. Take a piece of paper and actually note it down the entire stuff because that would really gonna help you keep your mind staying focused because you're gonna forget. You're gonna come up with a lot of the ideas and you're gonna forget about that. So write it down or take a screenshot of the ideas and keep on on your phone. And then you, when you're actually targeting the niches or creating the designs or something like that, you're gonna keep stay in front of you. Another one I'm going to be popping up is actually taking a look at the other creators, what products they are having in the collection. If you are not part of my Discord server, then very will join my private Discord server. The link is in the description box below. In that Discord server, the people ask a lot of the different variety of the questions and other people reply them. Sometimes I do also reply them based on my own experience. So if you're looking forward for a community, a creative community, then make sure you join my free Discord private server. The link is in the description box below. In that private Discord server, only that question has been asked from one of the person, one of the creators. They've been asking like how to actually find the products and which products to keep in the collection depending on the niches. So we're going to be taking a look at the creator this time because I'm going to be taking an example of the creator to find out which kind of design and what type of the different products you're going to be having. So when you're going to scroll down below, you're going to see the featured creator option on the homepage itself. You can take a look at any of these creator. So I'm going to take a look at this Grace Kim. Okay, this video is not sponsored for this particular picture or this particular shop, but I'm just taking a random example to show you guys. So this one is the collection they are featuring. So Marshall and Navy Floral Invitation Collection. Collection, I totally get it. If you're not targeting the invitation suite, then this is not something you're gonna be looking for. But again, if you are targeting that, this is something that could really help you. So we're gonna take an inspiration idea from that. We're not gonna copy this in, um, design. Guys, I'm not showing you this collection for the sake of copying someone. Please don't do that. That's not really a good thing to do because you're gonna not just gonna actually deplete your business, but also you're gonna deplete yourself. Because when we are copying someone, when we are try trying to copy someone else, we are not being ourselves. And when we are not being ourselves, we won't get the results. So if you are copying someone, not just in business, but in your life, please don't copy. You are unique, you are amazing the way I, you are. And I always talk about that in my videos, like you are amazing the way you are. So never do copy, take an inspiration, an idea, and feels like if you really wanna target or not. If not, then don't do it. If yes, then make your own stuff from it, okay? Don't just blindly copy the things. It's not at all good. Anyway, guys. So this one is a collection. Now, if you're targeting the floral invitation or different kind of the invitation suites, you could get the product idea from that. Like she's actually targeting the paper fans, the invitations, the banners. Then you have the different kinds of the posters, different kinds of the invitations. So basically, these are the products on which you can place your invitation niche if you're targeting one. The Bali niches, the uh, label and like a lot of the different product is there. You have a binder as well. Then you have the envelope A4 seal as well. Then you have this uh, labels for the wine and wine labels and bottle label. Then you have the big banner, the tote bag. So you have a different variety of the product if you're targeting uh, this particular collection. We're gonna take a look at the different collection right now. So I'm gonna go back and take a look at the different creator. You could simply look in for any specific product. You just don't have to go with for any specific creator. For example, if I'm gonna be actually picking up a random product, for example, I'm gonna click over to the gift section over here. We're gonna take a random product and gonna take a look at the collections on which they are having a design. So if you're targeting for a gift niches, then this is also something you could very well find your niche, your product and design idea by that. So depending on what type of the age group of the people you're actually targeting, for example, we are targeting the teens, okay? You can target the parents, grandparents, whatever it is. Now, these are the different niches you have for the teens, the cool, cute, funny, unique, tech and gadgets and gamers. Obviously, there could be a lot of the different niches, but these are the more specifically more broad niches. But anyway, guys, we're going to take a look at this checkerboard pattern the skater board because i like the checkerboard pattern a lot i do sometimes use them in different variety of the ways but this is a niche something you could very well hop on the checkerboard pattern now this is a plain checkerboard you could have a name you could have a picture or you could have a code over here now we're gonna scroll down 
and we're gonna take a look at the checkerboards collection and then you get the point for the products you can place your design on so let's click over to the foil under collection now this is the way to actually go to the individual product on Zazzle and just scroll down and find the collection in for which this is a part of this particular uh, product and then you can take a look at the entire collection now this is a checkerboard collection now you can see on which they have placed the checkerboard now i think that checkerboard is a pattern is a design that can be placed on the multiple in fact more of the products that you can see wrapping papers the leggings then the lamp the tote bags the mobile cases you could see a lot of the different products they have used the checkerboard you could have a different color of the checkerboard a name a picture sky is the limit guys be more creative but you get the idea, right? This is just one random example. Let me just go back and we're going to take some different product this time. This time I'm going to be taking, uh, let me just see. Let me take a t-shirt niche, okay? Because I don't target the t-shirt that much, but still if I have a design on the t-shirt, then I go for it. And yeah, we do sell the t-shirts in the holidays in the random as well. So this one is a believe in your selfie. It's a simple core text-based design. If you're targeting a text-based design, this is something you can very well hop on. Now this one is the, depending on the winter, uh, sweatshirt is there. You could have on the t-shirt as well or different products. Now just scroll down, you're gonna see found in collection see the collection they are placed in or the different products this this particular design is being placed what do you have to do just scroll down just scroll down then you're gonna see found in collection this particular designer have placed this particular product in a particular collection so you're gonna take a look at the collections i'm gonna click over to that believe in your selfie coach that's the collection they have made and you can read about it if you're interested in what you want for your description for your collection. I don't write that huge big description for my collection, but if you want to, then you can do it. Then scroll down, you can see on which of the different products they have placed this design and then you get the idea what are the different products you can place your own design as well. If you're having a motivational simple coat or something like that, you could see a t-shirt is there, the apron, the uh, mouse chains, you could have a mugs. You could have a different kinds of the since it's actually more catering to the female, the female niches. So that's why you could see a mirror is also there. Then you could see the coaster is there, the pillows is there. Now obviously she has placed only on the few products, but you could place this particular design on all the pro all the products that are targeting the female. Like the leggings, you could place it something like that uh, vertically, not horizontally. But you have to actually arrange your design according to every single product. This is something you need to do extra. But you could get the idea how to do this particular research and how to find it out. Okay, here we are. With this particular uh, football, soccer football, custom name and number, uh, this is related to the male nation. That's what I was looking for. So you could see at the back of the hoodies or t-shirts or different clothing, you could have a name and number. That is, could be a very popular, so very simple niche. If you look at the front, it's a JW and at the back is the Jack. Very simple, very simple text-based niche, okay? Text-based design. So if you just scroll down, okay? We're gonna take a look at the collection if they are having a collection related to this particular product. We're gonna take a look at this. Okay, so this particular design is a part of this collection. So I'm gonna go over to the custom name and it's soccer football apparel. This is a niche that I am not targeting and this is something a new idea, amazing niche, but you could very well target. Now this is a custom name and it's soccer football apparels. So it's targeting the football apparel. So obviously you're gonna find the apparels over here. So you're gonna see the name and the number at the back at the front and you can get the idea what is they are targeting. So if I'm actually gonna take a look at the same designer's other collection to get a different perspective. So I'm gonna click over to this particular, the men apparels and you could see the ideas or the niche ideas that they are having. Is they're mainly focusing on the men, the text-based design guys, if you're targeting one, then this is something you could very well hop on. They have a lot of the different cool text-based designs. So if you are part of that game of the text-based design, this is something for you. But we're gonna just go and see something else over here. So let me see, I'm going to go back. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the Apple Watch. Okay, this is some kind of like electronic, but you could see it has a simple design. That's it, marble effect kind of like a design. Just scroll down. Let me see if this particular designer has a collection on it or not. Now, they, are, they are not having a collection. But simply you could place this particular design on multiple different products because this is just a simple design. The simple design. So you could place it on a multiple different products. 
So this is a way guys, you could very well target the niches and the product ideas. You could pick up any specific niche that's coming into your mind and you can do your research. I just used the homepage for an example. You could very well type a specific name or a keyword on the Zazzle homepage on the whole search bar itself and you can do the research according to it. So just type over here, uh, male gifts, okay? Start with the male niche, the shop by category, the clothing, accessories. If you're targeting a male gifts or male niches, these are the products you can very well place your design in the clothing, accessories, home and living and sports and games. And you can take a look at the different uh, male gifts they, they are popping up. You could see the king of the kitchen. This one is the kind of like an apron. Now, king of the kitchen. This is related to the food niche or the kitchen niche related to the kitchen. So, okay, you can't place it on the different products. So you are only placing on them. So let me see if they are having a collection or not. Yes, they do have a collection. It's actually personalized kitchen aprons. They are having all the aprons. So you could have an entire store focusing on a kitchen accessories or kitchen stuffs and you could do according to it. They have the entire collection of the kitchen only. So that is also the another niche you could very well hop on guys. A lot of the stuff is there. This is just, I have covered the superficial layer. The way I do the research on the Zazzle, obviously the sky is the limit when you can do the research and how you can do the research. But this is one of the way you could very well do it and you can find the right niche, right design, right products, collection. I have answered some of the most commonly asked questions in this video. Hopefully you find this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any video requests, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll get to see you in the next video with a new amazing topic. Till then, take care. Bye guys.